Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Good morning, scholars, or whatever time you happen to be watching this video. Right now, for me, it is a beautiful overcast day. I'm feeling cozy, I'm feeling ready to go, I'm feeling ready to learn, I'm feeling ready to be with all of you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to our warm-up and to our awesome activities planned for today. I don't know about you, but my body needs a stretch today. It's feeling kind of weird and tight and I need to loosen it up. So let's stretch all together. Roll your shoulders forward and then back. Wiggle around your wrists and your fingers and your ankles and your toes. Lift up your shoulders and hold them there and then let all the tension go. Deep breath in. Hold. And let it out. One more deep breath in through the nose. Hold. And let it out. Let's stretch this shoulder right here. Make sure you don't lift it up like this. Instead, you just want to keep it at a normal height. Switch arms. Switch. Two more shoulder rolls forward and two more back. Let's reach down and feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Hang there for a couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And then give a nice squat and then lift up your hands towards the ceiling and bring them back down. One more deep breath in, everybody. Hold and out. Let's shake it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, 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 zero. Everybody, great job. 
let's move on to Zumba rhythm. Okay, as you can see, we already have some rests up ahead, so make sure that we're ready to stop and not say anything on our feet. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. Tiki, tiki, cinco, pa. Cinnamon, cinnamon, grasshopper, ta. rhythm feels a little more chill, doesn't it? It fits the overcast gray, rainy weather. Okay, let's do it again. Da, ah, ah. Tiki, tiki. Cinco, pa. Cinnamon, cinnamon, grasshopper, ta. Ta, ah, ti, ti, tiki, tiki. vocal warm-up, we are going to be seeing Jenny Jenkins again, but instead of just using four colors, we're going to add some new ones into the mix. Here we go! Jenny Jane. 
Lincoln's roll. Will you wear red, oh my dear, oh my dear? Will you wear red, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear red, I'd rather be dead. I'll buy me a foldy rolly tilby toldy seek a double use a cousin roll if I me roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. Thank you so much, Denny Jacobs, for joining us again. With that, everybody, can we give her a round of applause? Awesome. Let's move on to our very first activity, everybody. We are going to jump back into the instruments that we use in our musical instrument bingo from last week. We're gonna go over to my computer screen all together and we are going to store all the instruments we used into their specific instrument families. As you can see, scholars, we are looking at all of the instruments that we used last time in our online musical instrument bingo. What we're gonna do is we are going to walk through each of our instruments from the top all the way down to the bottom, and we are going to put them into the correct musical instrument family. Now, just as a quick refresher, we have string, woodwind, brass, and percussion, the four main instrument families inside of an orchestra. And string instruments are ones that you either pluck or strum or bow a string. You make sound with woodwind instruments by blowing air into them or blowing air through a reed that goes into the instrument. Brass instruments are similar to woodwind in that you have to blow air into them, but brass instruments are different because you have to buzz your lips at the same time. And most of them look like they're made out of metal. And then finally we have our percussion instrument family. And the percussion instruments are ones that you basically hit something in some way in order to make the sound. So let's start going through our list. We look up and we see harp. Let's give it a listen. Now the key with the harp is what do you strum? Well, it sounds like the harp is being strum, so those must be strings, right? Yes, harp is part of our string instrument family. Let's go on to the next one, the viola. I bet you all know this one. Yes, it is the string family as well. How about the bass, which can also be called a contrabass or a double bass? Okay, that sounds a little bit like the viola. So if you were thinking that as well, you are correct. The bass is also in the string family. Let's move on to the next one. Piccolo trumpet. The piccolo trumpet is a brass instrument. How about horn, Other, sometimes known as the French horn? That is also in the brass family. How about the trumpet? <laughs> if the piccolo trumpet is in the brass family, then the trumpet's got to be in the brass family, right? Yep, it sure is. Let's go to the gong. I know what you're all thinking. Percussion. Yes, percussion. 
Let's go to snare drum. If you've ever seen a snare drum being played, what is the percussionist doing? They're hitting it with sticks. So it's gotta be percussion instrument. Okay, cello. It looks a lot like viola and bass, so if you're thinking string, you're correct. So pretty. Mm, that's so beautiful. Let's move on to the flute. The flute is an interesting one because it looks like that it's made out of metal, and it is. However, it is not a part of the brass family. It is a part of the woodwind family. When you play the flute, you don't actually buzz your lips in order to get sound out of it. You just blow air over the top of it. Let's go to oboe. This is one of our special woodwind instruments that we call a reed instrument because you blow instrument through a reed into the instrument itself. So. There's a lot of woodwind instruments like it, and you'll notice the similarities in how they sound. Especially this next one. Clarinet doesn't sound the exact same as the oboe, but it has similarities, doesn't it? It's also a reed instrument. Let's go on to the violin. And oh, you all know what this one is. It's gotta be string, right? It's the highest sounding member of the string family. Let's go to timpani. Man, I can't even listen to that without bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum bum. I already want to be a percussionist, so percussion, it's part of the percussion family for sure. Let's go to tuba. Look at the material it's made out of. Awesome. So the tuba is a part of the brass family. It's the lowest sounding member of the brass family. Now let's go to celeste. This is an interesting one. Okay, so the celeste is in the percussion family. Okay, only a couple more left, everybody. Good job. Xylophone. Hmm. Awesome. Percussion, for sure. Let's go to bassoon. <laughs> Oh, I love the way that bassoon sound. They sound so cool and different. They are a member of the woodwind family. How about English horn? Mm, that one is also so beautiful. I want you to listen to oboe and then the English horn and hear the similarities. Here's oboe. And here's English horn. Very similar, right? The English horn is also a woodwind. Now let's go down to bass drum. Oh, we already know this one. Yeah, it's part of the percussion family. Four more left, everybody. Okay, this next one, trombone. I bet you already know which family this instrument is a part of. Yep, that's part of the brass family. This one looks just like its brother and sisters. Tuba, trumpet, piccolo trumpet, horn. 
Gold medal. Yeah. Okay. Symbols. Okay, you hit two symbols together, so it's gotta be a percussion instrument. Very good. Now, bass clarinet and contrabassoon. Okay, then these instruments are related to ones that we went over earlier. Bass clarinet and then clarinet, right? Bass clarinet is just the lower sounding version of a clarinet. <laughs> So the bass clarinet is just the lower sounding version of a clarinet. So it's got to be a woodwind as well. And then our final instrument, the contrabassoon, which I'm sure you realize is related to the bassoon. Let's listen to the contrabassoon. <laughs> contrabassoon is a woodwind instrument. Woo! Nice job, everybody, going through all that stuff, listening to all those instruments again. With that, let's go to our final activity for the day. Great job, scholars. To end today's lesson, all of us, first through fifth grade, are going to be learning the same song. I'm filming this ahead of time, of course, so the timing might be a little confusing, but just the other day, I watched the inauguration of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. And during the inauguration, this particular song was sung. It's a song that some of my older scholars might remember singing with me in music class before. But I thought it would be fun to sing this song all together. It's called This Land Is Your Land, and it was written by an amazing songwriter named Woody Guthrie. I'll sing the song all the way through for you once, but if you're already familiar with, I invite you to sing along. is your land, this land is my land, California to New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. I went walking that view of highway I saw above me that endless skyway I saw below me that golden valley This land was made for you and me This land is your I roamed and rambled, and I followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. All around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for and me. Sun comes shining, then I was strolling in the wheat fields waving and the dust clouds rolling. A voice was chanting and a fog was lifting. This land was made for you and me. This land, this land is your land, this land is my land, California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made.
Now that we've heard our song one time all the way through, I invite all of you to sing along with me. This land is your land, this land is my land, California to New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. I went walking that wind of highway I saw above me that endless skyway I saw below me that golden valley This land was made for you and me I roamed and rambled, and I followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. All around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for and me. sun comes shining, then I was strolling In the wheat fields waving, and the dust clouds rolling A voice was chanting, and a fog was lifting This land was made for you and me This land, this land is your land, this land is my land, California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made. With that, you guessed it, we are done for today's lesson. Thank you all for singing that beautiful, amazing, important, rich song with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you and your families are all staying safe and healthy. I miss each of you so very much, and I wish that we could be together, and I cannot wait until we get that chance. Have the greatest rest of the day ever. Have the greatest rest of the week ever. And you know what? How about you have a great 2021 while we're at it. <laughs> I will see you all next week. Bye everybody.